Thank you for rejoining us. For those of you who have just joined the telecast, I have on the set with me today Rabbi Daniel Lappin. He's truly one of the great Bible scholars of America. And Rabbi, we're talking about the secrets of the Hebrew that reveal uh, why conditions are in the world in which we live. There are only two biblical nations that have the name of God, El, in their names. Uh, Yisrael, that's Israel, and of course, Yishmael, the Arabs. Is this a coincidence? Well, of course, we must remember that in the Lord's language, in Hebrew, uh, there is no word for coincidence. And the general rule is that if there is no word for a concept in the Hebrew language, then that concept doesn't exist. It's a false concept. Oh. Um, there are two people, and this is what's so interesting. When God uh, said to Hagar that she's going to have a son, uh, God actually said what this child has to be named. He has to be named Ishmael. And when a Jacob's name was changed from Jacob, to Israel or, or Yisrael, that was also God speaking. So it's only two people who became nations whose names were given to them by God himself and whose names contain the word God, uh, Ishmael and Israel. Those are the two nations. Now, it's kind of interesting because um, uh, Israel means um, he will make God his master. That's literally what the word means. You can actually hear the middle part has the SR sound, Yisrael. The SR sound is the sound from which later on other languages developed the idea of master, like the word sir or sire, always an SR sound, or, or even the Russian czar or even Caesar, always an SR sound coming from this Yisrael idea. He will make God his master. And that is, surely, is that not the essence of the Judeo-Christian tradition? Absolutely. We will make God the boss. That's right. That's what it's about. Now let's take a look and see what Ishmael means. Ishmael means God will hear him. Well, not surprisingly, Arabs pray, Muslims pray more than any other people, and five times a day they pray, constantly, because part of their basic heritage that's locked into their name and into their identity is this idea that God will hear them and it's it's a tremendous advantage they have because we have to be on the right track for God to hear our prayers mm -hmm. but God listens to them in a different way so uh -uh. Isaac's son Jacob he he has 12 sons but so does Ishmael the Bible tells us that he also has 12 sons is this too a coincidence. Well, of course, no coincidence ever anywhere in Scripture. And uh, we, in studying Scripture, are uh, very often, if not always, rewarded by exploring what appear to be coincidences on the surface. And sure enough, um, it's um, at the time that Abraham dies, uh, looking at uh, Genesis chapter 21, uh, Abraham's on his, uh, on his uh, way out. He goes, and of course, at his funeral, uh, um, Ishmael and Isaac both appear. Now, what's really interesting about this is that, um, obviously, if you look at the order of the text, it doesn't say Isaac and Ishmael came to the burial of Abraham. It reverses the order. Younger son first, Isaac, and then Ishmael. So clearly what must have happened is that I'm sure Isaac would have said Ishmael, the older son, I mean, after all, he came to the burial of their father. The older son has priority. Ishmael must have said, no, you are the blessed one. You must go first. Mm. Now, interesting, as Ishmael walked behind Isaac, did he pull out one of those Arab daggers and finally get rid of Isaac by stabbing him in the back? No. And what's more, as boys, when they played, he was 14 years older, he would have had many opportunities to hold Isaac's head underwater in the old swimming hole and come back and say, hey, a terrible accident happened. He never tried to kill Isaac. Well, as uh, after we hear about the death of uh, Abraham, we then hear about the death of uh, Ishmael. And what we should hear is that Ishmael had 12 sons, just like Jacob had 12 sons, and the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob become a great nation through their 12 sons, and the children of Ishmael are going to become a great nation through their 12 sons. And, and they're going to live and settle in the lands of Havilah and Shur, and then Ishmael dies.